Good morning, church. In the previous devotional, I did tell you I was reading in Jude, but I failed to mention to you that there's only uh, the one, so to speak, chapter. There's only one writing there as far as there's not multiple chapters in that little book. Uh, And I had read the previous verses of 20 and 21, and today we're going to read verses 22 and 23. And so to do that, I do want to touch on those other verses real quickly and read all of them together. But you, dear friends, must build each other up in your most holy faith. Pray in the power of the Holy Spirit and await the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ, who will bring you eternal life. In this way, you will keep yourself safe in God's love. And you must show mercy to those whose faith is wavering. So I'm going to keep reading, but you'll notice right there, there is the additional verses that we are starting into, and it is asking us to show mercy to those who are wavering. So yesterday, as we asked you to pray for and ask God who needs their faith built up as we exercise our own, we want to extend that again today and say, Lord, who is it that you need us to reach out to in a new way, not just to encourage them, but to build up their faith and be strong in helping them? Listen, we're going to read the next verse now. It says, and you must show mercy to those whose faith is wavering. Rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment. Show mercy to others, but do so with great caution, hating the sins that contaminate their lives. Okay, so there is a word of warning in this. It's saying like you see someone that is going down the wrong road and you see them making wrong life choices and getting entangled with sin once again or living in that You do not want to get yourselves in a situation where you yourselves will become vulnerable and possibly get re-entangled again. So use caution, but that's why it tells us back there in the beginning there about praying in the power of the Holy Spirit so that we know that we are acting in obedience to Him and not our flesh and reaching out into places that we shouldn't. Let's be His church. God bless you today. 